All right, this is a quick tutorial on how to get started with uh, Command Batch. First, you're going to go up here, Command Batch, double click on it twice. You should see this screen, the logon screen. User ID is user, there is no password, and data source config should always be on eBatch. This should automatically come up, and the only thing you should have to hit is OK. Once this screen comes up, you'll have two windows that pop up. One will be batch graphics, and the other should be batch setup. These, at the present time, you do not need, so you can just X out of them just to get them out of your way. Now look up here to the DRS. There's four red, uh, green lights. Just make sure they're green. If they happen to turn red, you're going to have a problem, and the computer will not respond to the command batch board and won't run your plant. Most of the time it should be fine. If you don't, you'll have to look and call Command Batch for some assistance. Now this over here to the side are all your tabs. This is more this is pretty much every tab you will need. Um, the order tab is the one you'll start off with. You'll start, this is where you put in your orders. See, today I already have two orders in, one's for Ben Bennett, one's for Southern Repairs and Restorations. Now, if you have more, you'll have a three, four, five, six, and they'll all be listed here. If you wanted to enter a new one, you simply click right there and start typing. But we'll get to that later. Um, this is basically where you'd enter all the information, what mix, where the job's going, and the customer. And you would continue on to the next step, which is batch setup. Now, this is what the computer uses to actually load into the truck. Uh, you'll go through here and check, make sure your mix is right, how many yards. Uh, you'll put your water trim right in here, in this little area right in there. Um, you can also click on ticket setup, and you'll see what's going right here. We'll have printed on what's going to actually go on the delivery ticket, and this can be kind of important. It can be tricky when you get into adding NCA or fiber or fuel or any other things besides just the concrete. If you were to click on view ticket, it would also tell you. It'll show you a picture of what'll actually be printed on the ticket. And that can be a big help instead of making a guess. Um, once you start to load a truck, you'll get this screen that will automatically pop, pop up. It's batch graphics. Now you'll have everything here. you got your uh, air, water reducer, A+, and all your calciums are right here. It's actually kind of a picture of what's actually happening outside in the plant. This is where your water, this right here is control how fast the truck feeds. All of them pretty much feed well on 100. You don't have to really ever change that. Here you'll have 57, 7 stone or 89 uh, manufactured natural. And basically once you start loading up a truck, all your materials go into a scale and then the scale feeds the truck. So when these gates right here actually open, they'll be dropping into the scale and that's actually happening outside. Here you have your cement flash too. Uh, a few other things you may need on here, uh, this button here, this tab here, Mix Design, stores all your mixes. Now, if you have a, let's say, a, let's see if I find a good one, 3 RFAA. It's a 3000 residential with air and flash. Basically, this is all the components with all the weights that are going to go into one yard of concrete. And basically, here you'd have to use it to change your air if you needed to do that. Right now, this has got three and a half ounces per yard going into it. If you needed to change it to four or down to three, this is where you would do it. And you'd simply hit save and exit out of it. Uh, also, over here, you do your daily reports, which I'll show you how to do all these later. You also have your inventory received and on hand inventory. On hand inventory, you can check at any time to see how much type one and how much ash you have. Also, if you were to get something, you could use uh, inventory receive. This is where if you got a load of uh, cement, you could put it in there. Now, all these will be going into more in uh, more in depth. I'll make a tutorial for each one of them. Um, also, over here, you have customers. Here's your list of all our customers, our account customers, not CODs. And uh, I believe that's about it. This little tab up here will bring up all the different tabs, not you know, ones you don't normally need. I doubt you'll ever need to get into it, but if you have to call Command Batch, they might, they might tell you to pull this up to look for various things. Um, that'll do it for getting started. Uh, have any questions, review this to find some of the stuff you may need. 
If not, everything else should be covered in all the other tutorials.